Good morning. I changed up my skincare routine and it has healed my acne so much. This is before and this is now. And I'm the type that has very acne prone skin, very sensitive skin, oily, textured, but it can get really dried out if I use too much product. Like it's just so, so sensitive. I've tried a bunch of different products and these ones by far have worked the best for me. Sometimes it's hard to change up my skincare routine because I'm always scared and nervous, but obviously if something isn't working, I'm still getting acne, I'm still getting breakouts, so my skin looks the same those products aren't working for me anymore i was a strong believer that acne was purely hormonal for the most part like if you're washing your face you're eating clean you're doing all the right things i'm like it's got to be hormonal and there's no way that i can fix it from the outside i'm not sure i have that same mindset anymore because these products have actually changed what i thought was my hormonal acne around my jaw and my cheek area and it's cleared it up so much already and i can't wait to continue using these products so the scarring goes away as you can see my skin is not perfect you can see where acne was in the past but i do not have any active breakouts right now except this one has like been a bump for a minute but i don't have any like active whiteheads my skin is looking pretty freaking good i just woke up i haven't done my skincare routine yet so it doesn't look as glowy as clean as good as it would until after i do my routine let me just tell you a couple products that i've used that have not worked for me. I know everyone's skin is different, so, so some things that might work for me might not work for you, but I think it's really important to try new products for at least four to six weeks, but I feel like for skincare, you can give it like two weeks and you can start to notice a difference if it's really good or if it's really bad. For example, this video went crazy viral on TikTok of this girl showing her everything shower routine and she used a Dove sensitive skin bar of soap to wash her face and she said that's all she used to wash and clean her face and then she used like a moisturizer, just basic stuff afterwards. She had the clearest skin, the most glowy skin I've ever seen in my life and I was like, am I just doing too much? Do I need to simplify it even more? Even though my routine is so fucking simple anyways. Got the bar of soap, used it for, I wanna say not even a week and my skin broke out really, really bad. I don't know if it dried it out completely or what happened but I can say this bar of soap made me break out. It might not make you break out, but it made me break out. There was no other factors that were changed. Changing from a cleanser to a bar of soap was not good for my skin at all. Also because I am dealing with acne and was dealing with active breakouts at the time, there's no ingredients in the bar of soap that's gonna help fight that. This is the cleanser that I use. I've always been a CeraVe gentle face wash girl. Like I've always had CeraVe face washes. So this is the acne control cleanser, 2% salicylic acid, which is an acne treatment. And it also has ceramides, hectorite clay, which I'm not sure what that is and then niacinamide. The ceramides and niacinamide help to make sure your skin has that protective layer to make it look glowy and youthful and healthy. And it also helps control the texture and the oil. This one, sometimes it says if it's for like oily skin or not. Um, it doesn't. I think anyone with acne can use this. Super gentle, I think. Going with something super basic and gentle, not super harsh not something with scrubby beads in it for a cleanser. Daily to use day and night is the way to go. So this is what I'm gonna use to wash my face. Another problem I have with my skincare routine is that, is that sometimes I'm lazy with it, so I just make sure like I actually take the time to do my skincare routine and wash my face very well. Use cold-ish water. Don't use hot water. Make sure to activate your face wash as well and get it all white and sudsy. So you're not rubbing super harshly on your face to get it to look like that. It's all ready to rock and roll. I'm super prone to like on my jaw, so I'm just really making sure to get into like my neck too. And rinse. Another thing that I started to implement, this is a hand towel. It's rough, it goes through the laundry. It probably isn't the cleanest thing. It definitely is not the cleanest thing in the world. You're wiping your mouth with it after you brush your teeth. Toothpaste is irritating. Your hands are dirty. Stop using a towel to wipe off your face. Okay, my face is literally dripping. I was kind of hesitant to get these, but I knew if I wanted to actually take my skincare up a notch that I would have to get them. So I know the towels that I wipe my face off with are not the cleanest and it could be cleaner and it could be less bacterial. Like there's no bacteria on this at all. I just was like, that's such a waste. It's not a waste. You're putting it to use and it's benefiting my confidence because it's helping my acne, helping my health. And I'm not wiping my face completely dry. It's still a little bit damp. Listen, it's damp, it's not dripping. And then I go in with this Good Molecules Daily Brightening Serum. While my face is still a little bit damp, it needs to lock into water to retain the water in your skin. So I just do a few drops in my hands. 
I don't like to put the tip on my face because just touching, I don't want to contaminate anything. This is all clean skincare, by the way. I love Good Molecules. This is so affordable and such good product. Secondly, I think a good moisturizer is so important. This is the old moisturizer that I used to use, just a basic Cerave daily moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin. This makes me break out. I don't know if it's too thick or if there's something in it that just fills my pores, but for some reason, this stuff does not work that well on my skin. If I use it repetitively, I can tell my skin just feels like it has like a layer on it, even if I wash it twice. It just doesn't feel, I don't know, I don't like the feeling on my face. And it causes me to break out. This is the new moisturizer that I'm using. It is the Clear Stem Amazing Product. This is literally all I use, such a tiny amount and it goes such a long way, which is amazing because this stuff is a little bit more expensive. It smells so good too. This is the last thing. We're keeping it simple, we're not overdoing it, and we're just doing everything that we need to do to prevent acne, to make our skin look great, and so healthy and glowy. Last thing, sunscreen. If you're not using sunscreen, just throw your entire skincare routine away, seriously. You need to do this every single morning, rain, shine, sun, snow, whatever the weather is. This protects your skin so freaking much. Put it on now while you're young so you don't have old wrinkly skin when you're like 35. Nobody wants that. You want glowy, youthful skin. This does have a tiny bit of a white cast, just a little bit, but but honestly, I just use like such a thin layer you can't even really tell. And I put makeup on anyway, so it's fine. I don't really care. But it doesn't look like you just use freaking sunscreen off the Walmart shelf and put it on your face. It's not like that white. I used to have the Cerave SPF. Did not work for me. Again, it was similar to the Cerave Daily Moisturizing Lotion where it would cause me to break out. Super Goop. This was the unseen sunscreen. Not even the tinted one or anything. Um, so this is the clear one. It wasn't the best for me either. I don't know why, but it just causing problems with my skin. So we are transferring over to the Good Molecules. Love them so much. That's literally it. Okay, now I feel like I'm glowing. My skin feels so healthy after that. Always does. I'll catch y'all for my nighttime skin routine. It's gonna be short, it's gonna be simple. During the day, we protect. At night, we treat and repair. Okay, I'm back. It is 10.43 and I'm just about to shower. My hair is really dirty. I did a slick back bun on purpose. I need to wash my hair. I need to double cleanse my face to get the makeup off, to get the sweat off, to get the dirt and grime and nastiness off because I just worked out. So late, let's get going. We are squeaky clean and showered. Nighttime routine is super simple. I'm starting off with this different gel. This is like a super intense. Oh, okay, I do like the Paula's Choice Exfoliant a lot. It definitely gave me a really good texture on my skin, but it didn't do anything for my acne. If you don't have acne, that product is amazing. But I just feel like I was exfoliating with that and it wasn't doing anything for my acne. It was doing a lot for the texture and the tone of my skin, but yeah, it just wasn't like the perfect product for me. Different gel I have used in the past. It's an over-the-counter, I think, ret retinol. It's similar to a retinol. It's called Adapalene, what the fuck that means. So it's an exfoliant with acne treatment in it. It's amazing and I'm only using it probably three times a week right now just because I don't want to overdo it and just strip my skin of everything. I just use like a tiny pea size amount, really that much. If you use this, your skin can get really sensitive to the sun or just in general. Just pay attention to that. I mostly just put this in my acne spots, but obviously all over my face. Step two, I need to get one of those spray bottles. I just pat my face with a tiny bit of water so the product has something to latch onto and keep the moisture in my skin because I'm gonna be using the Daily Brightening Serum again. And then just ending off with the same moisturizer that I used before, the Clear Stem. The different gel is the most important step in my nighttime skin routine, I think. We're being extra hydrated, so I'm doing this lip gloss. This brand is my favorite. Very moisturizing. And that is it. That is everything. I will link all the products that I use down below in my Amazon storefront. I'll have a separate list that says skincare routine if y'all want to shop any of the products that I did use um, or just try any out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night. And I'll see you in a few days. Wave fire.